couple of new ad hominems out there in the wild, little subcategories, subspecies that you may have run into. The first one is the argument from anonymity. Somehow because you're using a pseudonym or heaven for fend, an anime avatar or an egg, that necessarily means that any points you make must be wrong. And the second one is the argument from onanism, that because you have some sexy photos on your profile, occasionally you post something a bit racy, or maybe you follow the wrong people, that because obviously you like a wank, that must mean that whatever you're saying is completely invalid. Well that argument's wank. I'm sure we've all run into the argument from, an from anonymity, you know, just because you have an image or something that you like as your avatar even, just just not having a picture of yourself is enough to trigger a lot of people. They seem to think that because your avatar is one thing or another or nothing at all, that any points you make are necessarily immediately invalid and they will often just block you on site. The funny thing is that my picture on most of my social media is me, and yet people still assume that it isn't for some reason and block me on that basis as well, or for not using my real name, though it's attached to my real name, if someone really wants to go and look they can, but the point is you shouldn't have to, points stand by themselves. If I were to judge on this kind of prejudice, I've noticed that people with pictures of footballers in their profile tend to be racist cunts, but you know, let's address people's points rather than anything else. There's a weird Facebookification of the entire social media sphere where everyone expects your real identity to be attached to everything you do, which takes, frankly, a fuckload of the fun out of it. There's plenty of legitimate reasons why people might want to be anonymous. I've talked about them again and again in previous videos. There are lots. You know, it's essential to, to whistleblowing and all kinds of other things, and for assailing certain ideas that have too much traction in society. You know, in the past it would be criticism of, of religion or something. I mean, just this morning I saw someone being doxxed for arguing in, in private messages with someone, so little wonder people find their anonymity precious and find it useful if you get into an argument with someone and your immediate reaction is to try and contact their employer and say this person called me a cunt outside hours not using a work computer nothing to do with you but would you fire him please you may not have run into the argument from onanism but it's becoming more and more popular it seems as time goes on if you post the occasional saucy picture to your profile. If you if you follow some accounts that post saucy pictures, if you follow some some porn stars or some adult workers or something who occasionally post something saucy or whose work is something sex related, you know it doesn't matter why you follow them. You know maybe you're a free speech advocate like me. Maybe. I don't know, maybe they're smart, intelligent, funny people that you like to follow anyway, quite regardless of whether they post pictures of themselves with jizz all over their tits. Who cares? Maybe you like a wank. Why should it matter? I don't think it does. But someone will, rather than engaging with some kind of argument that you've made, instead go and look at your social media profile, see which images you've posted, see which people you follow, and then come back at you with, Ooh, you must masturbate to that. That must mean whatever you say is crap. For fuck's sake, this, this happened to me over on Mines. There are a lot of woo merchants over on, over on Mines, which is the one drawback of an otherwise great platform. It's full of anti-vaxxers and new age twats. I got into an argument with an anti-vaxxer and, as usual, was giving them the business. What did he do? Did he engage with my argument? No, he went and looked at my profile. Now, I used Mines partially to promote my stuff, partially in the way that a lot of people use Tumblr, and I post a lot of semi-saucy pictures because it's a great way to farm points with which I can promote my other material. Also, because I like them. This guy goes and looks at my profile, sees all these you know, scantily clad women or whatever, and goes, oh, well, you must be too busy working off your right arm. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, you know, the, the worst maybe that I'm at risk of is hairy palms. It has no influence on my argument whatsoever, and you, you're responsible for resurrecting diseases that kill children. I'll take the wanking, thanks.